How do you know when you become an elder? Are you born? When you're born, are you born into being an elder? And what are the criteria from a, a, an Indigenous perspective? And I don't think we can do this work 10 years ago, but I think now because we've gone through this urban and traditional, this urban and this past and present um, seesaw of evolution, that um, somehow um, it's just come from this evolution organic place. So where do we fit as an urban contemporary clan? What's our purpose and how do we bridge urban and traditional and the non-Indigenous audience. And I think when the young youth that are around the same age as our dancers, uh, you know, they're into hip hop, they're into everything else, but to, to realise in their own backyard they have this depth of culture and dance. And I think when they see this urban clan doing it, and doing it okay, you know, there's a sense of jealousy, and so there's this sort of natural competitiveness, and then out of that becomes relationships. and. Ah, uh, there's nothing more that I love than to nurture the dancers in my company. Um, and the more that I've done it, the more that I, it's one of my favourite, well, it's, it, it is the favourite part of my job. Um, they're not just dancers, and, and most artists who work in this contemporary expression and dance and dance theatre usually come with other layers of, of, of skills. How do they stand today uh, as Aboriginal men and women or Indigenous men and women in this 21st century? Uh, and what is their responsibility to culture? Um, and why they respect and, uh, uh, and acknowledge um, why they're so proud of their heritage in this 21st century when they don't live in a rural community, that they live in an urban environment. Well, it's funny, when I went back home to Arnhem Land and I said, Bangara, I've been in Bangara 20 years and you know, they're celebrating, they were asking me, what are they doing in Sydney and blah, 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 and how I had to do this interview and it was me celebrating 20 years and you know, they think that's a great thing. And they were laughing at me like, you know, they said, oh, that's nothing, 20 years. You'd have to be like doing that for 100 years. Uh, before you, you're respected up here, you know. And I thought, oh Lord, how's that going to be possible? <laughs>